everyone welcome back to my channel so I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while but I couldn't because I didn't know what the date was going to be yet but I can finally tell you guys what the release date is going to be for one big mess I'm so excited for this book it's gonna be my first book that I'm gonna publish and I'm really excited about this book and I really hope people love it as much as I do. But if you've been watching my channel, you know that One Big Mess is the book that I have been working on this year. I have been working on getting the edits done and all the proofreading done and basically getting it ready to launch. And earlier in the year, I had hoped to get it published sometime around spring. So my first thought was maybe April. That is coming out. I, I don't know the release date yet. I think I'm going to try to shoot for like maybe in April, maybe March or April, maybe sometime in the spring, you know, when like things are like getting a little bit better and like 2020 is like getting farther and farther behind us, you know. So uh, yeah, I think maybe, maybe, uh, maybe spring. We'll see. As you can see, it is April now and I do not have the book ready yet. The process has taken me a lot longer than I anticipated that it would. And some of that is like health setbacks because I had like a bad migraine spell. And you know what, if I feel bad, I'm not going to feel like doing copy edits or you know doing proofreading or anything like that. And that's just going to make me feel worse. So that kind of held me back a little bit. But. The process is also taking a long time because it is my first book and I'm still kind of learning the ropes of this whole self-publishing business and I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. So that's sort of why it's been taking me a long time. But I've been thinking about the date. I've been thinking about when should I release this book because I want it to be soon. I don't want to keep holding on to this book. I want to let it out into the world. And so I was thinking about the dates and I'm trying to think about, you know, how long do I need? How much longer are the proofreads gonna take? How long is it gonna take me to get it formatted? How long is all this going to take? How long do I want to take, uh, you know, promoting this book? You know, I have to kind of I have to do like some kind of promotion first to get people interested to buy it, right? And I was thinking about the date that I decided I wanted to be an indie author. Just out of curiosity, I was thinking, you know, it was sometime last year that I decided to stop querying. I decided traditional publishing was not for me. And I decided I definitely wanted to be an indie author. So I look back at my emails and June 13th, 2020 was the day that I emailed all the agents who still had my query and I told them I was withdrawing my query. That was the day I decided I wanted to be an indie author. So I decided how symbolic would it be, how cool would it be for me to have my release date be on June 13th the exact year after I decided to be an indie author. So I'm going to do it. June 13th, 2021. This is when One Big Mess is going to come out. And I think this is perfect because this will give me enough time to finish the proofreads. I'll have enough time to figure out how to upload my manuscript. I will get the copyright done. I will start to get, you know, my newsletter Thing up and running and I will figure out how to do some book promotion like I guess I'm, I'm gonna try to wing it but I'm gonna try to figure out how to how to do it right anyway I'm so excited you guys I'm so excited I finally picked a date I think this is really going to help me if I have a date because just saying, oh, you know, I'm going to do it this day, I'm going to, you know, or I'll do it, you know, around this time. I don't think that's working for me because if I don't have a clear deadline of when I've got to get it done, I'm just going to keep working on it when I feel like it. And i got to stop that. I have actually got to get down to work. 
I've got to get this book out into the world. So I, I've got some work ahead, but I'm, I'm just so excited. I've settled on a date finally. And it's so funny because just last year, I just thought this was going to go so differently. I, you know, I didn't anticipate I would want to self-publish. I used to say I was not going to self-publish because I, I didn't know how to do it and I didn't want to do all the work. But I remember last year, I was listening to so many podcasts on writing, just, just so many. I was like obsessed with them. I'm still obsessed with them. I love podcasts. And I remember I was listening to this one podcast and it's a really good podcast. It's not on anymore. They're not doing it anymore. But it's Holly Lyle and it's her daughter, Rebecca. They're mother-daughter writers. And so they were having this podcast. They, they get on this podcast and they talk about the stories they were writing and they talk about different writing topics. And I remember it was that podcast that I listened to that just totally changed everything for me. Um, now, before I say anything, I just want to say this. Traditional publishing, it, there's nothing wrong with traditional publishing. If, if that's what you want to do, I mean, that's that's fine. I don't think there's a wrong answer. Both, both have pros and cons. Self-publishing, traditional publishing, they both have pros and cons. I already did a video about why I decided to self-publish, but that podcast, y'all, that podcast, it just changed everything for me. It just like blew my mind. It just, it made me consider things that I hadn't considered before. And if you want to know the specific episodes that I watched that really had me thinking, I'll link them down below. It was the episode, I forget the numbers. I think it was, I think it was episode 56 and 108, not positive, but it was the one about when it's the time to, when it's the time to decide to go indie publishing, and then the one about series and standalones. And because I'm writing a series, pretty much 90% of my books are part of, part of series. And because I'm writing a series, I don't want to risk losing that if I go traditional. Because, you know, depending on what your contract says, if the publisher decides to not publish any more books in your series, you may not be able to go back and publish the rest of them because the publisher will own the rights to the world and they'll own the rights to that series and own the rights to the, the characters. And so you just, you can't do anything with that series. And it's, that's kind of sad, you know, if you really want to write something and you can't, because like the publisher might sue you or something if you, you know, go that way. So I just can't risk that. I, I just cannot risk that. And so that's why I just, I, I kept an open mind. You know, I, I said it was not going to self-publish, but I, just because I didn't want to do all the work of self-publishing, I just thought it would be really hard. And it is hard, but it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. But I didn't want to self-publish. And when I heard that podcast, I was like, it just made me reconsider everything. It just turned everything that I thought I knew about traditional publishing just like upside down on its head. Just blew my mind. And so that was the day that I made the change. I decided I'm going indie. And I can't believe I just decided I was going to do that. But I'm so happy I did. I'm so happy I'm going this way. I'm so excited for this journey ahead. And this is really the best decision for me. And like I say, it's, it's okay if you want to just traditional publish. Um, I've got some friends that are going that way and that's fine. I have wanted that myself for a long time, but now I realize this is actually really what I want. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. So yeah, it has been, it's been crazy. It's not, this isn't how I thought it was going to end up, but you, you know what? In the end, I really think this is going to be the best for me because I, the more and more I learn about self-publishing, 
the more and more I know it's for me because I like the idea of getting to decide what my cover looks like and I like the freedom of writing whatever I want to write and I write a couple different things so I write for so I write for two different age groups. So I, I one of the things I remember I was always a little bit worried about would would be you know if I would be um, kind of pigeonholed into writing one certain thing, and I, I never really wanted to be pigeonholed into one certain thing. I I want to be able to write whatever I want to write. So this is the right decision for me, and I am so excited that I am going to be launching my book on June 13th, 2021. And so yeah, that's pretty much the video, but I am very excited. So I'm going to end this video now because I am still in the middle of proofreading my story and I've got two months now. I've got two months to get this baby out into the world. So I am going to go and I'm going to work on this. Thank you guys for watching and Please do give me a thumbs up if you like this video because it really does help my channel. And subscribe if you haven't already because that makes me so happy. And also, please check out my website if you would like more information on this book or any of my other books. I have a ton of book ideas that I, and I'm, I'm working on all of them and I'm so excited about all of them. And you can also sign up on my website. You can sign up for my newsletter. I'm not really going to be doing like regular newsletters um, like some other authors. That's great for them if they want to do them, but I don't really like to do newsletters. The newsletter is really just to give you news like, hey, guess what? The release date is June 13th, 2021. Oh, I'm so excited. So if you're interested, you can sign up for my website newsletter thing. It's really just an email that I'll send out occasionally. I won't spam you or anything. So anyway, thanks for watching. All right, see y'all later. Bye.